remember us? You saw us at E3 in Los Angeles when we announced the release of Devil May Cry 5. The MC is back! Then we did a deeper dive into what this game is all about at Gamescom in Germany. The Devil Breakers are the new system for Nero, and there's all kinds of different moves that you could do with the Devil Breakers that you couldn't do before in Devil May Cry 4. And now, we want to bring you to our backyard in Osaka, Japan, where we plan to show you some features that the public has heard about but never seen. We're also going to get inside the mind of the brilliant man behind the game, Itano-san. Since coming to Capcom in 1994, He's been the driving force behind some of our most beloved series. Games like Street Fighter Alpha, Star Gladiator, Rival Schools. And Itano is known for applying that fighting game knowledge to the action-adventure genre, with games like Dragon's Dogma and, of course, Devil May Cry. But first, we're hanging out in Osaka. It's known as a city that's highly supportive of the arts. So it's no surprise that Capcom's Osaka-based headquarters is like a magnet, attracting a talent pool of highly creative people. Speaking of creative, we're meeting some colleagues from Capcom at a local Izaka. Itsuno-san likes to encourage colleagues to exchange ideas and think outside the box. Gatherings like this are an example of how that's fostered at Capcom. And Devil May Cry 5 is evidence that his approach is working, which is why I can't wait to showcase some features that the public hasn't seen yet. When you enter the Capcom studios, it's obvious that it's all about gaming here. On this bustling floor, Itsuno-san works alongside his colleagues. And sometimes, he games with us. For gamers who aren't familiar with the Devil May Cry series, the name of the game is Style. It's a combat-heavy game where players are rewarded by stringing together stylized attacks while avoiding damage. Varying up your attacks is key to raising your style rank. As we discuss Devil May Cry, Itsuno-san lets me know that his priority is to create action-adventure games that are tighter, more challenging, more hardcore. And that's exactly what Devil May Cry 5 is, which is why his team created The Void, which is what we're here to showcase. The Void is a place where players can experiment with enemies, weapons, moves, and combos. It's a place where someone who's new to the game can gain mastery of it, or where DMC fans can perfect their techniques and hone their style. Another cool thing about the Void is that it gives you options. Turn your enemy's damage off to practice combos for prolonged periods of time. With damage on, you can see how much damage different moves and combos inflict. It's all for the players. And of course, there are the Devil Breakers. Itsuno shows me the unlimited Devil Breakers option, allowing you to practice without losing your Devil Breaker. He also says there will be different Devil Breaker loadouts that you could preset, and then you'll be able to switch between them on the fly. And to top things off, there's a deluxe collection of Devil Breakers. First up, the Gerbera GP01. Open up! <laughs> If you're already familiar with the game, you know the standard Gerbera uses shockwaves to repel projectiles and send the enemy flying. GP01. The Gerbera GP01 takes away the ability to repel projectiles, but it adds movement options. You can make Nero shoot up into the air, <laughs> or if he's already in the air, he'll shoot down to the ground. Next, the Pasta Breaker. <laughs> Why Pasta? Itsuno-san was thinking, what if Nico? That's her. We're just cobbling something together with stuff she had lying around. She saw this fork. She's thinking, he needs to eat. And so the pasta breaker was born. And even though it's not much of a fighting tool, this is the only devil breaker that allows you to cycle your remaining devil breakers. So it could be of help strategically. For the next one, Itsuno-san takes us out of the void and into gameplay. Meet Sweet Surrender. It's the only Devil Breaker that has the ability to heal. You can see it healing while in battle. If you pull off a Break Age move, you can recover three bars of health instantaneously while surrendering Sweet Surrender. And now, Itsuno-san takes us back to the Void for the Mega Buster. This Devil Breaker was inspired by Mega Man. Itsuno-san figured if Nero can change his arms, 
it's almost a given that we should have Mega Man's arm in the game. Rokumanto. Mm -hmm. Isono-san shows us how Nero's poses and animations change when he has the Mega Buster equipped as a kind of nod to Mega Man. The way he jumps, the way he runs, even his evade turns into Mega Man's slide. This is one of the things I love about Japanese game developers is they put all this love into really fine details. So there you have it, the void. A place where you can experiment, practice your combos, learn the enemy patterns, and hone your skills to take on Isuno-san's challenge of tackling his idea of a seriously hardcore game.